we're going we're going to begin because we have a quorum and we have one uh, one bill that we're going to take up. But this is our organizational meeting, and we have some new members, which we're delighted to have. And uh, I do want to have time to go around and and let them um, say a few words. So if if you don't mind, if you'll bow just a moment, please. Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day and for the opportunity to come and work together for the betterment of the state of Georgia. We ask you to give us clear discernment in everything we do. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Okay. Oh, welcome. So welcome, everyone. And uh, we have a sign-up sheet. I'm, I'm not certain this new group that's come in, we, we want to welcome you. And uh, if you'll just sign the sheet so that we'll know your names and what organization you represent. But first of all, I'd like to um, go around the room and let everyone become familiar, since we do have new members. And if we'll start with an oldie right there at the end, uh, if you'll begin, yes, Emory. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, my name is Emory Dunahue, and I'm District 30 with the Paul County in Daniel Hill, Georgia. Uh, this is my fourth year down uh, serving in the House. I'm Vice Chairman under the great leadership of Madam Chairman. Representative Buckner, and tell how long you've been on this committee. In the first two years, I was um, secretary under Chairman Green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I represent part of Harris, part of Talbot, all of Talbot, part of Muskogee, and part of Meriwether counties. Thank you. And our new, one of our new members. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I'm Representative Bill Workheiser from the 157th. I represent um, all of Tattanoe, all of Evans, and a portion of Wayne County. And speaking with Speaker, this is the one committee I've said I wanted to be on. We're uh, kind of the prison capital of the state in my area, so I've got a lot of interest, and I appreciate you being here. We're delighted to have you. LaDawn Blackett-Jones, I'm representative for House District 62, which includes uh, parts of Fulton and Douglas County. And you've been on before. I have. <laughs> this is my, my uh, second term on this committee. Yes, sir. And yes, I'm Representative Michael Smith. I represent Marietta um, in Cobb County. Uh, this is my first time on this committee. Thank you. Welcome. And? I'm Gerald Green. I'm secretary to the committee, and I've been on this committee for a little while. 33 years. How about that? And, uh, <laughs> uh, I've stayed on it all these years, and uh, this is an important uh, committee to me, and it's an important committee to the state. And I represent down in southwest Georgia, uh, below Columbus, Georgia, and uh, if you look to the west, uh, Albany, and then on, almost to the Florida line there. And um, I'm Barbara Sims, and I represent a portion of Richmond County and Columbia County. And I'm just honored and delighted to have such a great group with me and, and to be a part of this um, committee. Thank you. And I'm uh, David Clark. I represent Buford, Georgia, and I'm a new state representative. Eddie Lumsden, I represent District 12. That includes northern and western Floyd County and all of Chattooga County, the Rome and Somerville area. Uh, in that area, we have uh, Hayes Correctional Institute as well as uh, the Northwest Georgia Regional Hospital property, which is uh, near and dear to uh, uh, the folks in my district. So uh, I am very pleased to be on this committee and uh, look forward to uh, doing some good things while we're here. Chokus and uh I've been on this committee eight years now, and uh, I represent Sumter, Slimerian, and Chattahoochee County. During reapportionment, uh, my, 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 my district stretches from the Flint River to the Chattahoochee River, and during reapportionment, they tried to give me a little bit of East Alabama, and I said no. <laughs> now, we also have help today. Tara, would you like to give us your... <laughs> We have we have actually um, things that are working this year. So, go ahead if you. I'm Tara Buckle. I'm with the House Budget Office, and I'll be staffing this committee. Jeremy. 
Lake Council. Um, I just welcome everyone, and, and we do have very honored guest with us today. And I'd like, uh, if you don't mind, sir, Frank, I'd like for you to um, tell us a little bit about what you are, are doing in our state and, and why this committee is important to you sure. in your position. Um, again, Frank Smith, I'm with the State Properties Commission. And, and first, I wanted to introduce a couple of folks with me. Uh, Christy Sanders, who's our attorney, and Marvin Woodward, who's the Deputy State Property Officer. Um, the State Properties Commission handles all real property acquisitions, dispositions, leases. Uh, we are the uh, one-stop shop for all real property matters. The things that come through this committee are conveyances and easements. That's uh, annual legislation that comes through every year through uh, an omnibus resolution. Um, we do have some requested cleanup legislation that Representative Dunahoo has uh, helped us with, but. Um, this is my seventh year uh, in this position, 15 years with the state of Georgia, and uh, always excited to work with the committee and um, glad to see the new faces and glad to see the old faces as well. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Um, I tell you, we'll go ahead and do our legislation. We have one bill, and it is um, a bill that is um, a state properties bill. So if you, um, Representative Donahue, would like to present that bill, and then we'll come jump back over and have anyone in the audience that might have anything to say. Okay? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, last year, I, I'm going to review this just for a little bit for the new members. So I, I really want you to understand what happened last year instead of basically maybe you're wondering. I don't want to assume that. Last year, we had a bill that we passed with HB 495. Uh, Calvin Hill was a great member here at the State House. He uh, pretty much had worked on this bill to where he passed on, so they asked me to carry it. What happened was we were having properties that the state owned that was being lingering around for 520 to 550 days upon prime of sale property. As an investor, if you're looking at buying property, you're not interested in waiting a year and a half years to have the opportunity to buy property. What this bill did last year was anything under $500,000, it gave the right for a person appointed by the governor, a person for the lieutenant governor, and a person by the uh, Speaker of the House to choose someone to be on the board. We took and allowed for bids to come in where these bids would come in. We would have appraisals, two appraisals for $500,000 down to $100,000. 100000 or less was one appraisal. That way we could sell this property with true bidders that would come in and the board would look at the bids. It would streamline it somewhere under 120 days, and that now has investors where we have some properties that sit around, and it takes us quite a few thousand dollars to maintain insurance, upkeep, and there's no use for it. So now as investors, we're doing a smart thing. We're streamlining the sale of property, but we're making sure one thing was in here that everybody liked. It passed 163 to 2 last year. One of the two told me they would have voted yes after understanding it. What basically it does is, let's say it's in your district. If you have a problem with that property, you have the right to veto it. And if you veto it, then we can't do anything with it until it comes back before the house. So that's a safety net that everyone felt comfortable with. So we want to make sure that we all understand that. There's no ghost in the closet here. It's basically trying to maintain smart business practices through the state of Georgia. Now what's happened is, as it passed out, there was a couple of attorneys that wanted a little bit more clarification. And upon that, I met with lead counsel, and, and I do appreciate Jeremy, all you do. And what we come up with was basically this clarity. It clarifies the original intent of HB 495. Specifically, the State Properties Commission has the authority to bid out fee simple conveyances to private entities where the value of the property is under 500000 not to prevent State Properties Commission from bidding an easement or lease if bidding is reasonably practical and Basically, they just wanted that clarified 
where everything else in the bill pretty much was understood and interpreted properly. They wanted a clarification there. And for instance, if you're looking at a power line, just to give you a little example, we go in and build a power line, Georgia Power, or Jackson EMC, or EMC, whoever, they have to maintain this power line. They have to come in, and when they build a power line, they have equipment. They might have an easement to pull over and leave some equipment there as they go up the line and build the line and travel on. And it, it just goes on that this is already in law to where we can charge them kind of like a little convenience fee of up to $250 starting at $250 uh, a year and basically up to three years. So the only thing it really does is clarify the original intent of easements and savings. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Um, are there any questions from committee members about the bill or any concerns from anyone? If not, then uh, I would um, ask for a motion. Madam Chairman, I make a motion that uh, for a due pass on House Bill 104. Second. Thank you. Um, any, any discussion? No discussion. Uh, then I would like to ask for the vote. All those in favor, please signify by aye. aye. All opposed, with no. It has carried. Congratulations. And thank you all very much. So that is our that was our one uh, our one bill that we would see today. Now let me say this: I would like for the members to open their folders, and we should have done this previously, and and go over our rules. They will remain the same, I believe, unless anyone has an objection or an addition. If you'll read those, um, that we have, the quorum will remain at four. Is that satisfactory? Um, so if you'll continue to read on, this will be what we will um, be acting under during this time. Um, we have, we, wait just a minute, please. We have a new person that's an old person that just <laughs> came in <laughs> that, that's, that, that's trying to, uh, to say something, but we'd like to, <laughs> we'd like to, <laughs> we'd like to uh, welcome Representative Chairman John Burns to this committee. Who, he's been on here before, but John, we went around and just told a little bit about ourselves, so if you'd like to do that. Yes, ma'am, Madam Chairman. John Burns, I uh, represent District 159 in Southeast Georgia, which uh, is Bullock, part of Bullock, part of Effingham, my home county, and Scriven County, which is uh, one of those little garden spots in Georgia down in that part of the world. And so uh, good to be here, and I look forward and have enjoyed this committee last year in the leadership of Chairman Sims, and we uh, look forward to uh, a good time this year and getting a lot of good stuff done. So thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you. And yes, I will entertain a motion for accepting the rules um, as, the, as you see them. All right. Thank you. All those in favor, please signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? By no. Then it is carried. Duly done. <laughs> Speed reader. Yeah. They're the same as they have been. Um, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak about anything that you might be interested in or any questions that you might have? We're delighted that you're here. No? Well, we hope you'll come back and, and visit with us. This is a, a very relaxed, good committee, and, and we, we enjoy each other and we enjoy what we do. So I want to thank each one of you, and uh, we look forward to the next meeting. And it will be posted. We will send out an information for the, um, the next meeting. And I thank you very kindly for everyone being here. And congratulations to our new members. We, we stand adjourned.